Upper Grab Battles of PPL. Shroom Reaver versus Wamsley Bayonet. Begin! PPL first game, gonna call this week Wonsie, Bayonet, but he doesn't have the Munzi. Might think he's gonna have it easy, got a bit teeny, dude, do you see me worrying? Gonna have you scurrying for cover, gonna rid you, rock your world in a hurry, and he's gonna need a doctor that doesn't end well, team's gonna wanna cure him. But you bought heal bell, sit back with me, analyze, I don't care about your mega save life, your bay leaves a joke, let me be blunt, I am the alpha, you are the runt. You did well a season, but you're not the same, cause we beat you so badly, you had to change your team name. You think you got this dude, just stop, cause we're PSG and we're going for the top. Yeah, you're right to call this week Wonsie, cause you know that the winner's gonna be me. It's a bit hot fire, 10 out of 10, stronger than your blazer, Ken. You've got an Electabuzz, not close. I'll shock you like a Zapdos. I hit you so hard, you can't see straight. I don't ride bars, I recreate. You call those raps, you play so foul. You better fly away like a knocked out. Cause when you play me, you'll be knocked out. You'll get so mad that you'll shout. I know you won the league and you act so proud. But like tornadoes, you're stuck in a cloud. Stick to play with your VG6 at the end of the match, the winner is Wanzi. Oh, that was pretty sick. But let me roll off some facts real quick. Season 1 we left you lying, tailwind failures got you crying. Bring around to season 2, sure we lucked out, but the loser was you. Boo hoo, tell me something new. Think you're gonna rule with the Suicune? Boy, you got a screw loose. You think V-Craze got you back? You need a whole ability to hit your attack. Think I'm gonna fly away? That's no fun. What you got a Oko knocked out, son? Hit me with it. Spec Zapdos, let me introduce you to my friend named Ladias. You catch on like your team real slow, the beginning of the end for a yes monferno. Yeah, we slow, but we hit damn hard. We've got the power to tear you apart. At the end, I'll be sitting pretty. You'll be lower than Norwich Skitty. Tell me what the hell you're gonna do when I come for you. Mind more calm than a plus six sweet coon. Reggie Rock ready to take your assault before I zap back with stab Thunderbolt. And I know it we lost before, but we had to pick ourselves up off the floor. More prepared than we were before. We're a different beast with a different roar. Making mistakes is not that game. This little team is not the same. Painting your mind still non remain. Death of a king, Parasect Germain. How's it going guys? I hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, a, a stupid rap that me and Shroom decided to do. We spent quite a while on that and that's been in the pipelines for two weeks so that's what I've been doing while I've, while I've been away. I've been doing that piece of, you know, thing. But yeah, welcome to the PPL Week 1 against Parasection Man and Shroom Raver. This has been a match that's been requested for quite a while, not requested, but has been quite hyped up for quite a while, every time I play Shroom it's always a, a really good game and it's always really difficult because he's like my rival, he's like everyone's rival to be fair, everyone sees Shroom as like the rival but <clears throat> basically this is going to be a very tough week, uh, if you don't know what the PPL is, it's basically a draft based league format where you have to draft uh, between 8 and uh, 11 months using money and a budget which uh, it's, I have other videos on it, if you want to see more about it then go and check that out but Basically, yeah, uh, this has been coming for a while, and yeah, I will just tell you the team quickly that I decided to bring. I decided to bring Marowak, which is 252 attack, 252 speed for defense, uh, with the with thick club and adamant nature, with bone meringue, smackdown, knockoff, and double edge. Smackdown is there in case he wants to switch in his wheezing on my Marowak, which would allow Bone Morang to become a one-hit KO, because Smackdown removes the Levitate and Flying Typing from Flying Pokemon, which is fantastic because it's, it, it just really works well if he wants to switch in Latias or, or uh, the, the wheezing on it, and that just allows Marowak to run through his team. Marowak runs through his team. I also have, uh, let me just get to the team, because it's been about two weeks since this battle's been played, to be fair. Well, a week. I'd say, yeah, it's been a week. But we have Kyrum with the Draco Plate, 4 HP, 4 attack, 244 special attack, 4 special defense, and 252 special, uh, 252 speed with Draco Meteor, Outrage, Roost, and Ice Beam with a hasty nature. Now, I don't remember why I went with Outrage on this thing. I genuinely can't remember what Outrage was for. I think it might have been to hit the... Because uh, I, I genuinely couldn't tell you what Outrage was for. It's been a long time since I, I looked at this. Let me have a quick look at his team. I believe it might have been to hit the. Uh, I think it was Tornadus after I've got after I've used Draco. Oh, that was the idea. Yes, basically uh, but the idea with that was I used uh, if I wanted to hit something hard with a Draco, uh, and then they'd be like, oh yeah, we can just stay in and take another one now because you've got minus two speed, uh, minus two special attack, and I just bop them with an Outrage instead and do uh, a load of damage to them, and uh, I have Ice Beam for coverage and Roost because Roost is always fun. I'd also have Asriel the Whimsicott with 
the Kebia Berry. Uh, the ability here is Infiltrator. Now, it was not meant to be Infiltrator. And that does come into play a bit later, and I'll talk to you, I'll talk about that when it comes up in the match. But we have 252 HP, 72 defense, 4 special attack, 108 special defense, and 72 speed. Now, it's a very strange set, I understand, but the reason for that is so that I can switch in on a Latias' Draco Meteor. Hit it with a Moonblast, get a Tailwind up, I can also switch in on almost anything that Electabuzz wants to do, and I can also switch in on whatever Crocodile wants to do because of the Kebia Berry if it wants to carry Sludge Bomb. I have Hidden Power Fire in case Mega Sizzle wanted to switch in, Tailwind because Tailwind is always good, especially when you have a hard hitter like a Marowak or a Kyrom around, and U-Turn for Momentum. I also have Timid Nature because, eh, speed. Uh, we have WD Gaster the Mega Sableye with uh, Prankster as its main ability with 252 HP, 4 defense, 252 special defense with a relaxed nature. Now the reason for that is I wanted to get as much defense on both sides as possible so it can take hits on the special and the physical side. And the moves here are Will-O-Wisp, Recover, Knock Off and Psychic. Now Psychic is in case I wanted to bop the Mega Blaziken with something and the Weezing with something because Weezing can't really touch me. And Psychic is really nice in case it wants to stay in a pain split or something so that I can really hurt it with uh, like a really strong stab, or not stab move, but a really strong super effective move. Knockoff is always good fun and Will-O-Wisp is just to hurt some physical attackers on his team, even though he doesn't really have any. He has Crocodile, which was also kind of in my line of sight for this. I was thinking maybe not catching that thing with a, with a, a, a Will-O-Wisp, but he also had... Um, if I have a quick check, he had Tornado's Eye, which can go physical. He has a Mega Sizzle, which can go physical, or well, which is physical. And I just thought that this was the best Mega Sable I set I could have brought in this situation. Now, here comes the strangest set I brought, to be fair. Molly the Regirock with a Chuckleberry, 248 HP, 8 attack, and 252 special defense with an impish nature. Thunder Wave, Counter, Stealth Rock, and Stone Edge. Now, the reason for this is in case he wanted to run... Swords Dance Blaziken, I could stay in, take a high jump kick with the Chopper Berry, kill it with Counter, or if he wants to, to do something funny, I can Thunder Wave it. He, I also had Stealth Rock on there for Stealth Rocks, you know, Stealth Rock is a thing, and Stone Edge. So, yeah, I thought that I was very well prepared for that Blaziken. I had a feeling that Blaziken was going to play a part in this match, and because he'd been hyping it up a lot, so I thought I'd prepared like it, it ran through my team I had to do very obscure things to try and <laughs> find ways to counter it but the final Pokemon on my team is Alfie's the Zapdos with a choice scarf timid nature 44 HP 12 defense 252 special attack 4 special defense and 196 speed those EVs are so I can outspeed Crocodile I think if it's scarfed uh, outspeed scarf Crocodile and nothing else on the team really Basically, it's EV'd so it can outrun anything slower than it with a scarf. And the rest have just, you know, gone into defense and HP and stuff. But the moves are Heat Wave, Volt Switch, Air Cutter, and Thunderbolt. Air Cutter is so I can hit Blazer Ken for super effective stab damage. Thunderbolt is in case I want to clean up at the end. Volt Switch for Momentum and Heat Wave for Mega Scizor. Honestly, I thought it was a pretty solid team, and it's the first time I've ever built something on my own, like a full team on my own, and I thought it was right. But, yeah. <laughs> I thought I did everything right in this team to give myself every chance of winning. So, yeah, let's get into the match and we'll see how this went. Okay, so this, you can see that the team that Shroom has brought is Weezing, Latias, Blaziken, Crocodile, Electabuzz, and Sylveon. And that's. It made me feel a bit happy that he didn't have Mega Scizor, but. It was a bit annoying, so I decided I wanted to lead off with my Mega Sableye to get my Mega up as soon as possible. He's completely read that, read it 100% and led off with his Sylveon. Now at this point I'm thinking, is this thing Specs? If this thing was Specs, I was completely screwed. He would have killed something on my team and I wouldn't have had anything to hit it. So I just go into the only thing that I thought could take a Specs so, uh, Hyper Voice at this hate, like, uh, from this thing. And he shows me that he is not Specs, because that did nowhere near enough, so I assumed it was some kind of specially defensive variant because he had a Weezing on his team, and I assumed he would be a Wish support set, so I Volt Switch on out into Marowak knowing that I can take anything that this thing wants to do now, it's not got a lot of offense in like offensive investment, so 
I go into Marowak knowing that I can deal a lot of damage to anything on his team here. Anything that he wants to send in is going to get hurt a lot by this because Marowak is a monster. He withdraws the Sylveon and I was thinking here I wanted to go for Smackdown in case he sent in the Weezing. But I decided to play it safe and go for Knock Off and not reveal it yet because I didn't think that he'd be playing like that at all. So I got rid of the Rocky Helmet after taking a bit of damage from it but that did a lot of damage to this Weezing which gets the wish to it and gets back up to full health, but I'm not in a good position here. If I go for Smackdown, he can burn me, so I decided to go out into something that I thought could take a burn and not be hampered too much by it. Now, I probably could have gone out into Zapdos there, but I felt like, because Kyrum had uh, some kind of recovering move on it, that it would be able to deal with the residual damage a lot better than Zapdos who didn't have anything and was scarfed so unfortunately I can't use Outrage now but that's fine. He goes back out into the Sylveon and I go for Ice Beam thinking right we can see how invested this thing is and that did nothing. Nothing! Absolutely nothing. That did pittance. There was no... Oh, But Chiron's getting... Kyrum's getting like worn down by the burn, but this shows me that Sylveon is definitely specially defense invested because I did some calcs and that should have done a lot more considering I'm fully specially invested. So I switch out into Regirock here to take a hyper voice because I know I can. And I thought that this thing is a good I can get rid of Molly. <sighs> the problem was with this, but I wanted to keep Regirock around, but I was running out of things to switch into a, a Pixelate Hyper Voice. So I go into Molly, thinking, right, if I can sacrifice off Regirock, I can get some momentum. I go for Stone Edge to see how defensive this thing was, and that crit shows me that this thing is very defense invested. That's a stab Stone Edge and a crit, and it didn't even kill it. But he's got a Wish Up and he can go for a Protect here. I predicted the Protect and I went for Stealth Rocks this turn because I knew that I'm not, I didn't really want to be wasting a turn here. But unfortunately, the problem with this is I can't use Molly as a way to stop his Blaziken anymore if he has Sword Stance. So I was thinking, right, I'll just get some damage off on this Sylveon and I'll let it go. So I decided to stay in and go for, I believe, another Stone Edge at this point as he goes for a Hyper Voice, takes me down to 62 HP. Probably wasn't a good decision for me to do that, but I was just trying to wear this Sylveon down a little bit because it was a massive problem. It was a massive problem for me and there was not much I could do. At this point, I decided to hard switch back out into Marowak, I believe. I go back out into Dot Sands just so that I can hit this thing with a really powerful physical attack because it doesn't seem to be that physically invested. So, he goes for a wish here, and I was thinking he was just going to do the safe play and go back out into his wheezing here, because he did it before and he had no reason not to, but he goes for a protect, and unfortunately this was the turn I revealed I had Smackdown, so he's then gone for a Smackdown, no he's then known that I've got Smackdown for his wheezing, and he knows that he can't really stay, he can't really switch out into it because it's not safe, so I decided to predict that and go for a Boomerang, and that does a lot of damage, that does a lot of damage, and he goes for the Hyper Voice which I easily, well not easily live, but I chew that up because Marowak is not frail, not too frail, but this does mean that this uh, this uh, thingy, this Sylveon, is at a point where I can kill it with another Boomerang. I decided to play it safe and go for Double Edge in case he switches in the the uh, Weezing, and he goes for Protect, so uh, it's a thing. Basically at this point I'm stuck whether he's going to, he's going to go into Weezing at some point, I know this, but I didn't want to risk him staying in and killing me with a Hyper Voice, so I was going for Double Edges to see how much it did. Weezing does come in now, and if I'd have gone for Smackdown here, I could have been able to kill it straight out and do some damage and kill something, but I go for Double Edge playing it safe. So it does just about 45% and I could have killed it with another one, but it was a roll and I didn't want to risk it. Now I thought he was going to want to get rid of Marowak as soon as possible, so I predicted him to attack me instead of going for the Will-O-Wisp to try and burn me. So I switch in Mega Sableye and now I know that I can get up my Magic Bounce, so he can't burn me. The only thing he can do is Pain Split me which I believe is what he does, but he doesn't know that I'm carrying the Psychic yet. So he goes for Pain Split here, and he gets a little bit of his health back, but he doesn't realize that I'm carrying Psychic. So I go for Psychic, and it does a lot. And this Weezing at this point is dead. And luckily for me, I get the Special Defense drop. Now it didn't matter too much, because I had Recover, and it probably would have been more beneficial to me to let him keep going for Pain Split, 
and me to recover because I could have been able to recover if I'd have, if he'd have been able to keep himself alive without the special defense drop if you get what I'm saying. Basically I would have been able to keep Mega Sableye at a higher amount of health but it doesn't matter too much because he goes into Crocodile and I count this damage with I count the damage from a banded Crocodile and it only does about 50% to max physically invest Sableye but he has Intimidate so I assumed he wouldn't be banned, I assumed he'd be Life Orb or something. So I go out into Regirock to sacrifice it off and he goes for Earthquake. So Regirock is down but it's done its job, it's got rid of Stealth Rocks but it's, it's got up Stealth Rocks but it hasn't done the counter job, it hasn't dealt with his Blaziken which is a bit of a problem for me. He gets Leftovers Recovery, which does prove to me that this isn't banned or Life Orb or something silly. It's more of a defensive one dealt, uh, like built to deal with my Victini, which I didn't bring. However, I go into Whimsicott here and go straight for a Moonblast, knowing it does over 50% and it's a 2 hit KO. I was expecting him here to go for a Sludge Bomb, and I could show him that I could live because I have the Kebia Berry, but he goes for the knockoff, gets rid of the Berry, which suits me fine, absolutely fine. He gets a bit of uh, Leftovers Recovery. And I go for another Moonblast here and kill the Crocodile because he had nothing that really wanted to switch into a Stab Moonblast from a Whimsicott and he lets the Crocodile go down. And here is when the match completely changes. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to talk quickly. Basically, Blaziken comes out. I'm under the impression that this Whimsicott has Prankster. So I go for a Moonblast, like, like prompting him to either kill me or go for a agility or sword stance. He goes for the agility. Now, at the moment, this isn't a problem. I have a scarf blade, uh, scarf zap those in the back that can outspeed this thing under a tailwind. Unfortunately, I'm not prankster, so I made a very, very poor mistake there, and I've let this thing kill me and get up to plus two without getting my tailwind up because I was under the impression that it was prankster. And because it's not prankster, I have no tailwind, and there's a plus two life orb blaziken that's just going to sweep the rest of my team. So he goes for Stone Edge on my Zapdos. I probably could have played it a bit smarter here and gone into Kyrum and then hard switched out into Mega Sableye to give myself a chance to actually deal with the rest of his team. But at this point I was very, very, very upset that I had completely misjudged it and there was this thing just would have killed the rest of my team. So it is massively unfortunate because I had my Scarf Zapdos with Air Cutter that would have outsped this thing at plus two under the Tailwind and I've let him... I've basically given him a plus two because I'm, I made the optimal play under the conditions I thought I was under but unfortunately because, because I went for Moonblast there it meant he was forced to go for an attacking move the next turn instead of getting himself up to plus two so I've made the right play under the wrong conditions and that has cost me the match so I was very upset very upset and he's just dismantling the rest of my team with his blazer can and it's massively unfortunate we had a big discussion after the game and I explained to him what was going on and what had happened for me to you know throw the game away like that and I, exp I showed him my team and he literally said yeah if you would got that tailwind up you would have won so this is well, at least not one, not one, but it, I don't know if I'd have won because his Latios, uh, his Latias never hit the field, his Electabuzz never hit the field, but it's still a bit of an annoying thing because I judged, I prepped for him as well as I could. I thought I prepped very well for Shroom this week. I thought I did very well against the guy, and uh, I mean, I isolated his Weezing as the only thing stopping Marowak from sweeping, and then Crocodile went down as well, so it's not like he could intimidate switch me out of, out of it. So I thought I dealt with the two threats well. I thought I dealt with everything well to get myself a Marowak sweep under a Tailwind, but uh, it's just frustrating when I lose to something that I didn't check, because I didn't check the gen incorrectly and I mean that's a thing uh, I don't know but we lose this match 4-0 and that puts us at bottom of the table after week one which uh, it's annoying it's very annoying but as you can see we played well we used Mega Sableye fairly well we used Marowak incredibly well and Whimsicott still put in a good performance even though it didn't 
you know, do what it was meant to. So I think we played well using the team we had. Kyron was a bit of a disappointment because that Ice Beam did nothing, but I think we have enough here to turn this round, and I still think we can win the league this season. We'll just have to hope that Shroom slips up against someone. His Blaze Ken is going to put in a lot of work. But yeah, make sure you go and check him out. He is a great guy, a lovely, lovely man. He's a fantastic battler, and... He's just fantastic, but next week we have Frank Trude and FC Volcarona. Now, that's going to be a very tough game because Frank is a fantastic battler, very seasoned with lower tier mons, and he has a very tough draft. But we're looking forward to it, so stick back here next week for the next one. Now, I am going to ask you guys something quickly. Uh, would you like to see more raps at the start of my matches? Would you like me to do a rap every week? Because I think I can do it. I'm, I'm sure I can do it. I just need to find the time and, you know, judge my time better because I've got better at timekeeping and I feel like I can actually start uploading again. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you want raps, yay or nay? Uh, it's up to you guys. I'll do them if you want them, but if you don't want them, I won't do them. So... Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye, guys.